Hey guys, this is Gloria. So I want to share with you guys um, a project that I created tonight um, using this image. So first off, I got the inspiration from Amador. Amador made a um, treat box the other day with um, a jar die where he put the ball, um, this this image here, onto his die, and it was really cool. I've seen this image before. I've printed this image in black and white before and actually colored colored it with um, Copic markers. And I haven't did anything else with the image. I just left it at that because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it. But when I saw his project, I was like, you know what? I want to do something with that. So I started brainstorming and trying to think of things that I could do. So then um, the other day I was on Pinterest. And of course, Pinterest had idea after idea. And one of the ideas that I saw on Pinterest was that someone printed this out in um, black and white. They colored it with, um, with Copics. And then they um, uh, sh uh, shrunk it down with um, shrink film and made a charm out of it, which was really cool. So um, I started thinking and I was like, well, you know what, instead of coloring it with Copics, how about I just print it in the blue image that it's in and make a charm out of that. So that's what I tried to do. So this is the image at 100%. And um, when I mean 100%, I mean 100% saturation, which is the color intensity. And so what I did was I made it 400% saturation, which made the color even more vibrant because I wanted a really pretty vibrant color once I made this thing. And so um, once I printed it um, at 400%, this is the way it came out. And let me share with you guys the... Um, how it looks on the on the shrink wrap paper or the shrink shrink paper um, this is what it prints out like and as you can see it's really light but once this shrinks down it intensifies the color because everything shrinks into one thing so that's what I did I punched a hole in the top of this and then I shrunk it all down with uh, my heat tool and this is what I came up with guys this right here and I think it came out so cute. So it's just a little charm. And what I have on here is a, um, another little charm that says made with love. I punched a hole in the very top of it. And I put a little yellow rose at the very bottom. And then I just have it on this um, ball chain here. And I think that it came out so cute. Um, yeah, it, I think it came out really, really cute. I'm trying to get it where the glare is not as bad but it is very shiny like glass and that's because I use um, what's called glass finish which is this and it's by folk art and it's actually for paper and wood I bought this at the consignment sale the last time I went which was um, I think last year in September and I think I want to I want to say I paid like 50 cents for it or maybe even cheaper than that but I love the way it it works um, it dries really quickly and it gives a really, really glass, shiny finish. So that is it, guys. That's my little charm, my little project for tonight. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And I will get back with you as soon as I possibly can. Take care, guys.